our daily faith a place to dive deeper into your faith in search of more love purpose and something else <laughs> joy that's right joy <laughs> we should have more joy <laughs> a place to dive deeper into your faith in search of more love joy and purpose so if you haven't subscribed to the channel go and do that <laughs> i mean the button is technically down there but i do the little cool graphic right there and we're also on Instagram at Our Daily Faith. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions for us, then you can always direct message us on Instagram if you want, or you can comment below on, our, on this video. Mm -hmm. And we have a podcast where we share stories of faith. And you can find that on SoundCloud. I'll put the link right here and down in the description below. Heavenly Father, I just pray that whatever you want to speak during this time, that you would speak it, Father God. Ask that you would be present, that your Holy Spirit be present and would speak. Amen. Amen. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who has ordered a t-shirt or a tank top or hoodie from the okay. Radical Love Collection. Um, we appreciate your support so much. It's been amazing to see. There is still time to get your order, order in if you haven't already. You can see the link for the one style here and the other link right here. And we also have them down below. So we just finished week number <laughs> six. Week number six, which was technically marriage week. However, the last two days we did cover a lot of parenting things, mm -hmm. didn't yep. we? Guys, I really liked this week. I really enjoyed the parenting information. Okay, so I'd love to ask you a question. I'm ready for it. <laughs> what, hang on. <laughs> what was your biggest takeaway from last week? For me, I think the biggest thing was hearing Brad and Chantel's story of their marriage. I don't have the exact same struggles that Brad went through, but the messages that the enemy kept feeding into him, I completely identified with and had gone through recently. And so it was so great to hear how he dove in and how like, he put his identity in Jesus, that original design stuff that we keep talking about. I mean, that's so powerful. Mm -hmm. And how that allowed him to come out of that season that he was in and to walk more in alignment with Jesus and by doing that I mean you may have heard of that like triangle thing where you've got like you and your spouse and the more mm -hmm. you go closer to Jesus and God the closer you become as Here's a married couple <laughs> then um yeah it's so yeah. true I mean we found that in our own marriage for sure too mm -hmm. sometimes it's really hard to find common ground but the common ground is always Jesus 
when mm-hmm. we don't, when you and I can't agree or if we're divided on an issue or something. How about you? So I just, I like ate up all the parenting information. Uh, and this is something that I just really appreciate about the family DTS specifically is that like none of the other DTSs have like a marriage week parenting segment. This is really specific to the family DTS and to the heart of it, being that your family is your first mission mm. and that we're better able to serve other people when we are doing this as a team together. Imperfectly, but still doing it together as a team. I love that. Some of the my key takeaways from the parenting segment is this balance. So striking the balance between love and limits. And so some of the practical exercises was he gave out a, it's called a love report. It's a written piece of paper and it's a written affirmation to your kids. Hey, I really loved how you do this. And it's very specific. When Caleb fell down yesterday, you went over to him and you, you checked in on him. You, you were like, oh, Caleb, are you okay? And like, I loved how compassionate you were and how you were looking out for him as his big sister. That was really awesome. And so you'd write that down and you'd give it to your child as a written positive affirmation. And mm. so that's like, he talks about you know, just loving on them and pouring that out on them. And he talked about doing that twice a day, Mm. every day for 30 days, when you're trying to do like an intervention of like this relationship has gone really off track, but like a really good exercise, even if you're not in that place to be really intentional about um, loving your kids and affirming them. The other um, really helpful tip was that if your kids are really struggling, so when we talked about original design and identity and how the enemy can take things and and take root and even at a very young age, like he, he goes after our kids. He gave us this very helpful laminated card. So this is praying through if there is you know, some spiritual roots that are going on. Um, if there are some, some strongholds that are, you think are happening with your kids, then to not have, then to not hesitate to pray through it with your kids. Like, just like we need to pray through it. Well, teach them at a young age how to pray through that. And so you guys, so together as a family, you can dig up those roots together. I loved it. It was good. Uh, that was a snippet about marriage week. It was a great week. And so connected with that, we wanted to talk about something that is also unique to the Family DTS program, and that is... Great Dates. Because family DTS is full of families and families have kids, one of the things that was in the heart of the people who started family DTS was they wanted quality time with just the spouses. So every Tuesday afternoon, the kids are still in school, but we get to go out for a date for a couple hours. It's like built-in babysitting. So we get some time to connect and have some fun together. This program is a very busy program. And so to have this time set aside to connect, I think is really important yep. and essential for relationship. We have gone out to eat. We don't do it that often because it's expensive, but we enjoyed a date going out to eat. It's also a great time because your kids are in school. Parents, they're not at home. You can do a date day in if you want. All right, so that's great dates. We had a great question from Heather this week, and I just wanted to answer that real quick. So here was Heather's question. We would like to know how much time your classes and coursework take each week. How does the family DTS compare to other DTS classes in this regard? And would a person have any time to keep a small side business going, or is it all consuming? Your schedule is going to look pretty much like this. From eight o'clock to 2.45, You are either in praise and worship together or you're in classroom sessions together or you're doing intercession, but that's all like scheduled planned time. From 2.45 to five o'clock, you're picking up your kids and then one of you, the parents is going to go to work duty. Um, We talked about work duty in an earlier video. We'll link it where here, we'll link it here in case you missed that. So there are two nights that have things going on on campus. Monday night is ministry night. And Thursday night is Ohana Court Night, it's called. So that's an opportunity to go and worship, do corporate um, intercession time. 
Ohana Court Night is on Thursday nights, and it's it's like a big church service, really. Um, you do praise and worship for the first little bit, and then a guest speaker comes and speaks. We have some really incredible speakers who come to campus, like the the Dropbox movie, um, the pastor who started that, he came here and he spoke. Sometimes you get Francis Chan or Todd White, and sometimes they are leaders from YWAM. So th those are the two evening activities. So family DTS, apart from those two nights a week, Monday and Thursdays, there's nothing else planned. Whereas other DTSs may have small groups or track nights mm -hmm. or, you know, other training sessions and stuff. So they tend to have a bit of a busier schedule. And then mostly your weekends are free. And I say free because, well, we're still on parenting duty. So that mm -hmm. doesn't stop. Overall, the course load and setup of other programs are not as family friendly just because they're not catering to families. And so it tends to be a bit more. Each family needs to pray individually about which program they should apply to and go to. Don't just go by what you what you think you should go into. That's It's good to think about that, but ultimately we need to go where God leads us to go, which program he leads us to go. And I've heard great reports from different families in different programs. If you're interested, we can shoot another video with our friends Trent and Shaban, who are currently doing Fire and Fragrance with their family. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about, or they can talk about, what it's like to go through Fire and Fragrance as a family. We really felt like God wanted to, to train us more as a family unit, and that was where we were called to be, and felt in alignment with the Heart of Family DTS. So that's ultimately where we applied to. I think no matter which DTS program you apply to, though, that there is something for you there. You know, if you're a family and God's calling you to apply to another one, then go for it because he has a plan and a purpose for that program. So what would you say about running a side business while doing a DTS? We are running our YouTube channel and our podcast. It is possible. However, it does make our schedule fairly busy. It makes our schedule packed. We are very pushed mm -hmm. and very challenged to keep with this and we are only keeping with it because God asked us to do it, and we want to be a part of what he's invited into it. It is definitely busy and challenging, but ultimately then I would, I would say pray about it. Like, pray about it, yeah. Ask God, what do you have prepared for me this season? If he wants you to do a DTS, he might be asking you to step away from all of the existing stuff that you have to take time out to really dig in and work on the heart stuff. Because there is so much emotional, spiritual, physical, like all this stuff happening all at once, all that's really tiring and takes a lot of energy. But at the same time, if God wants you to keep it going or wants you to have a push season, then like he'll tell you, he'll tell you what it is that he, he wants for you in that season. And I would say follow whatever it is that he tells you to do. Yeah, it is possible. You can do it. It will be very busy, but just hold on to what God has told you to do. Mm. <laughs> so as part of the DTS, they planned an outing for all the families. Mm -hmm. So we went on a hike to Palulu Valley, and then we took a run to Hapuna Beach to enjoy the beach and have dinner. Here is our trip to Palulu Valley. <laughs>
unfortunately with the timing of it, the night before we went on the hike, Caleb got really sick and yeah. he was throwing up and we just really did not feel like he should go on the hike, which was a good call because he had a nap, a three hour nap the next day and he was, and he was still a little bit still sick. sick the next day. It was like a 24 hour bug. So I stayed home with him. Luckily I've already been to Palula Valley. It's gorgeous and beautiful and I'm sad that I couldn't go. Um, but I'm really glad. It sounded like you guys had a great time. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it was a great time to connect with some of the other families and stuff like that too, mm -hmm. which is really good. So today we wanted to talk about Caleb and his bravery. So Caleb, we have been learning about original design in our class and we prayed about both you and Elena um, over your original design and you know we heard to look to your name. I feel like God really put it in our hearts to name you that. So praying about original design is so powerful over our kids, like calling out who God has truly made them to be rather than letting the enemy define who they are. Mm -hmm. And so Caleb, your name means? bold, it means brave, it means wholehearted, and that is exactly who you are. We love how after just watching someone do something really cool and fascinating, you want to jump in and do it yourself. And you do it with such tenacity and mm -hmm. determination, such grit. And so we love how over this season you've conquered swimming, you've conquered snorkeling, you've conquered climbing trees, you're trying to learn how to skateboard. Mm -hmm. You are going on your scooter, a two wheel scooter now this season. And now you're trying to skin dive. Mm -hmm. Like you're trying to get down your mass and snorkel and you are kicking star and you are trying order and you are going to get it. We love you so much, Caleb. And we love who God has created you to be. And we just want to bless you and encourage you in it. Keep going. Yes, we are so thankful that God has blessed us with you as our son and we are excited to stand by you as you continue this path of bravery and growth and whatever that God has walking with you in this season. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever want you to forget who you are, who God has created you to be either. And if you ever forget, I want you to come back to this video and mm -hmm. I want you to watch this and remember this. Thanks everybody. That's it for this video. Mm -hmm. Next week, we're going to be talking about spiritual warfare mm -hmm. and we're going to show about community outreach, which is something we do every Wednesday to go out and bless the community and for us to practice as an outreach team. To learn for... how to do it because mm -hmm. we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go somewhere else, they're to a new country. Us. Yeah, they're going to yeah. they're teaching us how to do it or they're trying. We're we're getting, yeah, we're trying. <laughs> We'll get there. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And as always, if you have any questions that you want us to answer, you can just message us on Instagram mm -hmm. at Our Daily Faith, mm -hmm. or you can give us a comment below. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.